Welcome to our next session on dispensational history. And in this session, we're just going to say a few words about a man you may have heard about, John Nelson Darby. And he is often referred to as the father of modern dispensationalism. He lived in the early, I uh, was born in 1800, lived till, the, uh, till 1882. And maybe some of you, I'm expecting, suspecting that uh, maybe quite a few of you have heard or read about this man. A lot has been written about him, and if you just Google his name, you'll find mostly very unflattering things said about him by his critics. Uh, he has been maligned and misrepresented. He's been misunderstood. He's been smeared and called all kinds of pejoratives. And uh, so I'd just like to uh, say a few, uh, uh, present a side of him that, that you're probably not going to see in most of the blogs uh, about dispensationalism. He's, in many of the writings by his critics, he has been associated with the Irvinites and the Millerites and who knows what other kind of ites, but different radical fringe groups and charismatics and others. And they have made him guilty by association, uh, which is a very cheap way of, uh, of describing someone, uh, painting him with a very, a very broad brush, uh, as if he was guilty of the sins that folks that he was familiar with. Uh, much of what you read about John Nelson Darby uh, and hear about him is what we would call today fake news. And so I'd like to share some, some facts that you might not be familiar with. Uh, so let's begin by just having a little brief overview.